are going to talk about the innate and acquired immunity and let me make very much simple for you guys innate means something which is present by birth acquired means something which is acquired after the birth or specifically if i say acquired after the primary infection done sir then comes your mnemonic about the components of the innate and the components of the acquired immunity components of the innate let me make it very simple for you the mnemonic is d n a plus normal resident flora dna plus normal resident flora is a mnemonic for innate immunity what is for the d sir d for the dendritic cell n for the natural killer cells and a for acute phase protein and then fourth one is normal resident flora now what about the components of acquired immunity number one is classical complement pathway number second is your antigen presenting cell and number third which is very important is your lymphocytes lymphocytes are of two type b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes if I talk about where these are coming from, B lymphocyte is produced in bone marrow and maturing in bone marrow only. Done. Then comes T lymphocyte. It is being formed in bone marrow, but T lymphocyte is matured in T for thymus. B lymphocyte is activating two antibodies, IgM, IgG. IgM, you have to remember with the mother. So who is coming first for the encounter in your life? It is your mother, IgM. So first body to be synthesized is IgM. And who is the antibody of the antibody marker of the acute infection? Your answer is IgM. And who which antibody is for the chronic infection marker of chronic infection? Your answer is IgG now which is present by birth it takes just minutes to develop it takes just minutes to develop but the acquired immunity takes some time it takes days to develop because it is developing after the primary encounter now what about the memory about these immunities innate immunity has no memory because there is no t helper cells but the acquired immunity has memory because it is having t helper cells thank you so much